<laughs> That's Jay in his library. The medical books you're seeing are about 1% of the library, which is about the history of human imagination. And maybe at the end tomorrow, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. But I won't be so embarrassed. <laughs> so, for since the dawn of time, unseen forces have driven imagination. We've imagined animal forces, mystical forces, life forces, death forces, all of prehistoric times must have been about these unseen forces. And that, of course, is true in the modern times, too. The unseen forces, starting with death, what happens? And so here is a book called Dances with Death. Oh, that's not for me. And on the cover, you can see the skull and brass bones. And the theory of this book is that death came for you as a dance. So literally, what would happen is an angel of death would come to see you and that's why you would die. The unseen force was the angel of death. Here they are in black and white. And this book is small, so it's a little trickier. And here they are in color. From the beggar to the pope, the angel of death was the unseen force. So, in addition, unseen forces were imagined to be all around you. You know, we've talked about with the physics, physicists about the theory of everything. Here is a book called... Well, I'll see if I can do it this way. The true principles of all things. Okay? I especially like this because this is the unseen forces, bis and abyss, nothing and all time and eternity. They've really covered it here. Okay? And then as we move down, look at this here. All of these pictures of unseen and imagined forces. And this is in 1820. So we're not talking about a thousand years ago. So just imagine the surprise when an unseen force was discovered for the first time. Imagine being alive when somebody describes that there is this force that if you apply it to a dead animal, makes the animal move. It's called electricity. And nobody could see the force of electricity. And a man named Galvini, Galvanism, traveled around Europe showing experiments where he could animate dead limbs, literally using this unseen force. In other words, this is the first time in history unseen forces suddenly became real. Now, you might say, well, how big a deal was that? Well, that gave permission to imagine that the unseen forces in the world, many of which were not electricity, were probably just as real too. And so in the last 150 and 200 years, our ability to believe in viruses, our ability to believe in atoms, our ability to believe that space goes on trillions and trillions and trillions of miles, these unseen forces, gravity as an unseen force, all derive from the first unseen force ever pictured and it started in anatomical texts with electricity. Thank you. <laughs>